Good morning, and welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. A little snowy day in paradise, but I think we probably all saw that coming. Uh, spring's around the corner, just not quite here yet. A lot of things that aren't quite here yet. And uh, that's why I'm up here in the front of church this morning. One thing I'm hoping will be here soon. And, and I've missed over the last year, I'm sure we've all missed a lot of things. One thing I've missed more than anything is being able to do children's devotions in church. In fact, it's been almost an entire year since we did our last one. I used to love them because, well, one, I love the children coming forward and teaching them about Jesus' love, but also hearing them. Because there was one thing they always wanted to say. They were always waiting for the question. Sometimes they wouldn't even wait for the question. What did Jesus do for you? And the hands would shoot up. Oh, he would die on the cross. He died on the cross to take away our sins so that we could live where? In heaven. <laughs> and they cherished this, and you could see it. And that's what made it so much fun, to listen to them share their faith. And that's what they were sharing, their faith. And there's some people... In fact, a lot of people that would say, well, children don't really have faith. That's something you can't have until you're an adult, something until you can think it through and, and make that conscious decision to love Jesus. That's so not true. Now, faith is, is not making a conscious decision to believe in something. You can't do that. Faith is trust. And trust is something that only God can inspire, and he can inspire it in anyone adults and children alike. And that's one of the beautiful things about this, this lesson I want to share with you today, where Jesus encourages the little children to come to him, blesses them, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. The kingdom of, of God belongs to those who have faith, and it is faith, trust in him <laughs> as their friend and savior that has made the kingdom theirs. I want to read this to you. It's taken from Mark chapter 10 beginning at verse 13. Some people began bringing little children to Jesus so that he would touch them, but the disciples rebuked them. When Jesus saw this, he was indignant. He said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them, because the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Amen, I tell you, whoever will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. And he took the little children in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. Jesus acknowledges and praises the faith that they have, a faith that doesn't question and doesn't put qualifications on it. Well, you have to do this, or you have to be this, or you have to understand this. It's simply trust. A trust that doesn't question everything, sometimes that we adults can do, overthinking things. A trust in him as their God. May we always have that trust that simply holds on to him and knows that our Father will never leave us, our Savior will never drop us, and because Jesus died on the cross to take away all of our sin, we will live with him forever in heaven. God grant it. And let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this faith you have inspired in us, not by our own choice, not by our own intellect. Um, you above all know that that just gets in the way sometimes, but thank you for the faith you have given and the confidence with which we live, knowing that we belong to you. We ask that you strengthen this every day. And we ask that you be with the people of our world. Strengthen them, both physically and spiritually, uh, drawing us ever closer to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Uh, just a reminder, we are in Lent. Holy Week's coming up. Uh, a lot of services. There'll be um, then Holy Week, Monday, Thursday, Good Friday. Uh, we're doing an Easter vigil at 5.30 and then Easter Sunday at, at uh, 6, 8, and 10. So please join us for all of those if you can. And uh, just a, a gentle encouragement, as things are beginning to open up more freely again, people are getting their vaccinations, uh, mask mandate's still in place, but that's a small thing, isn't it? Um, hope that you can start coming back to church and we can fill this space once again uh, with our praises and the fellowship that we share. So hope to see you soon. God be with you and bless your day.